U.S. Treasury poised to release view on how DeFi used in illicit finance The department has reviewed decentralized finance's role in such incidents as North Korean ransomware attacks, and will issue a risk assessment, a senior official said. Christy Goldsmith Romero Commissioner U.S. Commodity Futures Trading Commission explore the policy fallout from the 2022 market crash, the advance of CBDCs and more. Secure your seat Christy Goldsmith Romero Commissioner U.S. Commodity Futures Trading Commission explore the policy fallout from the 2022 market crash, the advance of CBDCs and more. Secure your seat Christy Goldsmith Romero Commissioner U.S. Commodity Futures Trading Commission explore the policy fallout from the 2022 market crash, the advance of CBDCs and more. Secure your seat Christy Goldsmith Romero Commissioner U.S. Commodity Futures Trading Commission explore the policy fallout from the 2022 market crash, the advance of CBDCs and more. Secure your seat The U.S. Treasury Department is close to releasing a risk assessment analyzing criminal use of decentralized finance, DeFi, according to Assistant Secretary for Terrorist Financing and Financial Crimes Elizabeth Rosenberg. Illicit actors are constantly looking for effective ways to hide criminal activity and the laundering of their proceeds. Rosenberg said at a Monday banking event in Sydney, Australia. This is a threat to DeFi services or other elements of the virtual asset ecosystem. Her team is actively working on an assessment that will be released soon, she said. Because of astounding growth in virtual assets, the industry often treats regulations and financial crimes compliance as an afterthought, Rosenberg said. She said the potential harms from criminal use of virtual assets has been illustrated by groups affiliated with North. Follow the URL for the full article. For more on this story, visit the news article link.